morning everyone rick and deb and this is rick and deb's awesome, awesome adventures. adventures we're at the totem pole park just outside of claremore oklahoma this morning this is really awesome all these were handcrafted hand built by one man they've recently been doing some renovations so like i always say come on along and join me let's go check this out this morning right Okay, like I said, we are at Totem Pole Park, not too far from Claremore, Oklahoma. These are just really awesome. Really awesome. It's quite a ground, too. It's going to take a little while, but that's okay. We're going to get started here. Now, this looks like it might have been an owl. Maybe. And that looks like some kind of a bird. I'm not an expert on these totem pole type images. I'm really not. Um, okay. We were here. Oh, gosh probably three, four, maybe five years ago we were here. Last time we were here, it was horribly hot. I mean, it was hot. But, it is Saturday, September 19th, and it's a really nice morning. Well, there's a huge horse fly on this totem pole, this little totem pole here. That is one huge horse fly. I know don't, you're not going to see it on video, but I can see it from here. I don't like horse flies. And here's another totem pole, of course. And that's a private residence. Some of these are really tall. They are really tall. <laughs> and these have Indian. Indians on them here. My goodness. That's a loud mule. Okay, um, looks like this that they've been working on. I think I saw on Facebook where they were renovating these totem poles. Let me try to get up close here. Looks like they're being maybe repainting them. But this is all cordoned off, so. Well, I'm not real sure. But these are very tall. <clears throat> oh gosh, I gotta back up just to get all of it. This is Ed Galloway's Totem Pole Park. Ed Galloway handcrafted these all by himself, believe it or not. He's been here a very long time. This was kind of a spur of the moment this morning, kind of a last minute idea. So I did not do any real specific history. But I do know that these were, like I said, handcrafted and built by Ed Galloway. And this is part of Route 66 too, by the way. Now we're gonna go on this in just a minute. This is probably the best totem pole here. It's like massive, huge. And it's got some uh, information on the inside if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, we were here several years ago. Let's walk on up and let's take a look a bit closer.
you'll see a date that says 1948, and that may have been the date that this was completed. But there's just literally row after row after row of different symbols. And this thing is just really, I don't even know. This is crazy. Can I zoom in? Up at the very top. I mean, this thing is just. And this goes all the way around. Now this does look like it's been freshly redone. Now let's go around here and look at the look at this side now. ways up probably 100 feet maybe I'm not real sure there's one tall son of a gun though Seems like there's always got to be somebody firing a gun somewhere. Now see this, this totem pole, if you'll notice, it sits on a turtle. See there's the head and then there's part of the shell and then there's the feet. This huge totem pole sits on a turtle and we're going to see that as we go on around here. There's the feet, and then there's the head of the turtle. I can't imagine. See there again, here's the, here's the front of the turtle carrying this huge, I'd say at least a hundred foot totem pole. looking at Mr. Turtle there carrying this huge totem pole. It's going to take a while to get all the way around it. Let me try to get on the get the sun out of the way here. Maybe that will help out a little bit. Well, maybe not because it's all in the shade now. Oh, it's got this one smoking a cigarette. Did you see that? I don't know if that's going to come out or not. And I can't tell. Let me get on this side. 
it's actually showing smoking a cigarette. That is crazy. Boy, this thing just is just crazy tall. Ooh wee, man. It's very pretty. They didn't if it's been recently renovated, it's very, very pretty. It really is. Well I think I've been all the way around. We're gonna go inside now and take a look here. And again, this is the front entrance. And this is the front of it. Let's go in here and see what we can do here. Okay, this has some information. Sorry, it's really echoey in here. The world's largest totem pole built by Abe Galloway, 1937 to 1948. It's 90... Wow, look at this. That's crazy. 90 feet tall. Well, I wasn't far off. I said 100 feet. 18 feet in diameter and... Wow, we Look at that. That's crazy. Made from 100 tons of sand and rock, 28 tons of cement, and 6 tons of steel. 200 different carved pictures with four 9-foot Indian chiefs near the top. Wow. Wow, we. Yeah, this is really awesome. In here, we'll kind of circle around here and get the whole picture in here, the whole, just what there's all in here. We are nearing the end of a five-year project to restore the totem pole. They have been. I thought they had been. Wow. Like I say, we're actually inside the totem pole. You can look. I know you probably can't tell in the video, but you can. There's a ladder. And you can go straight up in there, but, oh boy, look at that. That goes straight up the top. Wow, wee, that's crazy. Oh, wee. Kind of get dizzy. <laughs> Going to kind of do a 360 here. And then here's these down here. Oh, boy, howdy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is the inside of it. Okay. Boy, howdy, I tell you what, that's pretty awesome. All right, well, we're going to go go on, look at some other totem poles around. I got that glare on my screen, so <laughs> I'm trying to trying to get it all here. Yep, that's crazy. Let's go over here. We'll look around some more over here.
And this octagon shaped building over here is actually a gift center, gift shop or whatever you want to call it. We're going to kind of walk on over this way. I don't know what this was at one time. It might have been a place to have a cookout or something. I don't know. But he's even got a totem pole on it. And of course, here's a table um, with totem pole like seats or chairs in them. We can circle on around here. Kind of give you an overall view of Totem Pole Park here. And there's even more out here. Let's go around over here and we'll take a look at these. There's kind of on a hill here, just right off the highway. We'll go around and look at the gift shop here just for a minute. This is supposed to be a lion. Sandstone Linus, <clears throat> carved by Ed Galloway, circa, circa 1915. Donated by son Gary Galloway. This actually, this gift shop actually has a um, fiddle house museum in it. We'll go in there in here in just a minute. But here's the gift shop. There's a little table over here with looks like fishes on the chairs. Well, these are very ornate. Very cool. Somebody over there has got a drone or a, a plane or some kind of uh, craft over there buzzing around. Owls seem to be a, a prominent feature in these totem poles. I see owls everywhere. It's, I never noticed that before. There's just owls everywhere. I'm not sure what that means exactly. Yeah, someone's got him a helicopter or an airplane over there. Well, let's go on over here a little bit. This, believe it or not, is actually a drill. But 
this is actually a drill. Um, okay, this is a hand cranked drill. You see, you see the drill turning? It's turning real slow. But that's a hand cranked drill. Isn't that cool? I got my wife that's generous enough to help out demonstrating this hand crank drill. That's really cool. Let's go over here. This is water pump over here. Let's... No, that, I think this was a this was a water pump, but the handle has been broke. The sign over here. What does the sign say? Oh, women's restroom that way. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Somebody knocked the sign down. Yeah, okay. It is very nice out here today. It really is. We're going to look at, the, there's an old dollhouse or something over here. Or a playhouse for the kids or something. We're going to go over here and check it out. They've also got a nature center, or a park, a trail. I guess what I'm trying to say. Let's go over there and take a look at it. This is a playhouse built by Ed Galloway in 1956 for his grandson Gary, restored in 2000. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, let's just take a peek inside. Not much left anymore. No windows, no furniture, no... It's pretty much empty. This playhouse is as old as I am. And then across the street, this little road rather, there's actually a nature trail. Now we've not ever been on the nature trail. We keep saying we're going to and then we, we never do. It might be kind of cool to go walk it. I don't know how far it goes actually. But this is the Tonopole uh, Nature Trail. Oh, it's two miles, I think. The Tonopole Nature Trail. Okay. It was constructed in 2002 to 2003 by the Boy Scouts of America Troop 238. Okay, well, that's cool. I'm not going to go down here very far. Um, we might just kind of walk down here a little bit. It would be fun to walk down part of it, but we're really not prepared to do a nature walk today. I'll just go down this far and turn around. It looks like there may be more than one trail. Looks like there's a trail that goes off that way. Yeah, we're not going to... We keep saying this, but one of these days we're going to have to come here and be prepared and actually walk this trail. But not today. And there are houses all over this area. There's a house over there. There's a house just down there a little ways. And this house is literally right on the property. I don't know if that's caretakers or family or what. I'm not real sure. We're going to go in the gift shop here in a minute and look around. 
just real briefly. You know, it's not real big, but it's for just really cool how they, how one person built these totem poles. Especially that one, you know, the one we went in that was 90 feet tall. Oh, uh, let's go over here. We got a, looks like this is a place for picnics. I did not go over here last time we were over here. You got to rent this actually to use it. This would be a pretty place to have a family gathering. Oh, look up here. It's got a big, huge fireplace. Check that out. And then there's part of the nature center back in there. <laughs> I bet that'd be a pretty walk. Well, now I'm hearing cows off in the distance. Okay, we're actually inside the museum gift shop here at the Totem Pole Park. They got a fiddles, all kinds of fiddles. Look at this. All kinds of fiddles. Oops, had a step there. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Look at all those fiddles. And of course, all kinds of Route 66 paraphernalia. I've got one of those flags. Oh, I like that table. hats and coffee cups and bags over so 66 on them yeah we got all kinds of stuff in here they got portraits and paintings and there's all kinds of stuff Yep. Old pop bottles. Look at there. That's really cool. And of course they've got... Oh, that's pretty much it. Um, and again, this isn't too far um, from Fairmore. Got a mural back here. A hanging fish and no singer sewing machine. That's really cool. All right. Well, I think we're about done here. Ed Galloway's lawnmower. That is one built 1945, restored 2002. Okay, well, that's cool. All right. Okay. Okay, I think we're going to go on. Hope you enjoyed this video of Ed Galloway's Totem Pole Park. Hope you enjoyed this video. I thank all my subscribers. Wait just a minute. Okay, sorry about that. Um, 
any rate, hope you enjoy these videos. I appreciate my subscribers. And remember, my mission statement is to so just do these for fun, just for entertainment, for your enjoyment. If you like these videos, please subscribe and share and hit that like button. It just shows me that you care. And for now, this vlog is over.